Bonjour from Mons, Belgium. I was going on a little adventure today and uh, it went a bit wrong. I missed the connection, so I've ended up in Mons, also known as Bergen. It's called Mons in French and Bergen in Dutch. So I thought I would uh, see what you can do for free in this place. Our first uh, point of call today is the Grand Place. All of these Belgian towns have a big square and here is no different. Got here a nice building, lots of scaffolding on it, of course. Some nice flags outside. For some reason, there seems to be a Peruvian flag. I guess it's like a local flag for the city. And what's really nice is the terraces are open again. You can't eat and drink uh, inside, but you can outside. So it's nice seeing the city's coming back to life. I spent my weekend uh, on a couple of terraces around Brussels and it was good fun. But now let's go and see what else we can do in this nice city. Looks like they enjoy a drink or two here in Mons. Wow, what a state. Bootle, it's a place up near Liverpool in my home country. Uh, for some reason, the square here seems to be called uh, Bootle Square. Maybe there's like a twinning program or something between these two uh, remarkable towns. Something quite cool you might find in cities around Belgium is in different neighborhoods, you get these uh, uh, kind of boxes where people put things that they don't want anymore which uh, people might want so let's see what we can find in one of these look you've got uh, some naked dolls you've got a french copy of 50 shades of gray look there <laughs> and some old dvds kind of stuff you can't even sell anymore i guess or well, people just want to share it around garfield the film looks like a bootleg copy if you're short on reading material, come to one of these and uh, you're bound to find something. Learn, <laughs> learn a bit of French vocabulary with the French version of Fifty Shades of Grey. And we're down in kind of the southwestern corner of Belgium, along the border with France. It's quite cool, it's got a bit of a Frenchy feel to it. Things have quite a few undulations, there's a few uh, hills here. It's not like when I go to one of the Flemish cities and obviously it's all flat everywhere. participative. It seems like uh, the local authorities in Mons invite their citizens to come and discuss the, the local budget with them. Apparently there are three of these fountains around the city and they date from the 1700s. There were quite a lot of them around in the city in the different squares back then. But now there's just a few examples around. This is the Collegial saint Rodru. It's an example of Gothic architecture big old church. Make sure you come before six o'clock <laughs> because it's closed now and I can't go in. There's this beautiful park which is ruined by this statue thing. Look at this. <laughs> some girl sitting down with some scissors and a butterfly on her. Now arrived at the Beffroi. It's a Baroque style belfry, which is unique in Belgium and the most well-known monument in Mons. The tower was damaged in 1548 in the Great Fire. The tower served as a watchtower for the town, as well as telling local people the time, which is why it has this clock on it and uh, the bell inside, I guess. A nice city just to wander around through these uh, narrow cobbled streets. Mons was also the European capital of culture in 2015. Bit of a strange choice really, I mean it's a, it's a nice enough city but I find often these uh, capitals of culture they're often chosen for political reasons. Maybe somebody was friends with a mayor or, or maybe they just wanted to shine a little bit of light on this uh, relatively unknown corner of Belgium I guess. It's the town hall, the Hôtel de Ville. Unfortunately with a lot of scaffolding on it at the moment it was under German occupation for 18 months. And then the Canadian Corps recaptured the city in 1918. 
another church, the Church of St Elizabeth. So yeah, I think we can conclude Mons is full of churches. Oh, the irony, this boarded up bar is called Au Bon Vieux Temps, to the good old times. And here's the train station. 